Hoffa Day, I'm Jolene Tovis, reporting from Guam Homeland Security Office of Civil Defense, where General Manager of the Utilities, John Benaventi, has provided the latest update on utilities restoration. Because of the hard work and dedication and the sacrifices that GPA crew and GWA crews have made, sacrificing their time away from their families, before, during, and after the storm, over 90% of the island now has power. It has been 13 years since a major storm has hit our island. And if you are here to experience the aftermath of previous storms, you are no stranger to the dark days that followed, as it took weeks for power to be restored. It has been two days since Typhoon Dolphin passed, and already many residents have power. This is all thanks to the hardworking crews of the Guam Power Authority, who are working tirelessly to get things back to normal. Everybody is pulling uh, 14, sometimes 16 hour shifts to be able to make sure we get these things out. Even before Typhoon Dolphin reached landfall, GPA crews were already out addressing power outages until they could not do so safely. And once the closest point of approach passed, crews hit the streets and have been out since 2 a.m. Saturday morning. They're spending time away from their families. Their families don't have water and power like some of us. Uh, we are all kind to get to the point of normalcy. And uh, these are the champions that are restoring this, in, in my mind, in record time. So in two days, 48 hours, we've come a long way. Sunday alone, power to over 10,000 homes was restored. However, there are still pockets of areas without power, and GPA crews continue to make repairs to various lines throughout the island to restore power to those pocket areas. We've got 92% of the feeders back in place. We have a small population of individuals that are still being restored. But power was not the only utility to go out, as water outages were also reported throughout the island. And like GPA crews, the Guam Waterworks Authority crews have also been working around the clock to restore water. According to spokesperson Heidi Ballendorf, almost all of the water wells are now on island power. And with this, GWA will be able to restore water to all customers. According to Benavenzi, less than 10% of homes are still without water, but he anticipates that it will be fully restored within days. He also reminds the public that if you have any issues with your power or water, to please do not call the trouble dispatch line unless it is a safety issue. Chris and Jason, back to you.